welcome Lindita from Albania. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel? How was your first day in Eurovision? I am feeling so amazing. I really am loving this whole experience. This means a lot to me. How was your rehearsal on stage? Can you tell us more in details? Yes, it felt really good up there. We uh, went through it four times and everything was on point. I love the sound, I love the stage and everything is so great. Like I really didn't expect it to sound this amazing. Uh, what are your first impressions about the host city, Kiev? I love it. They when did you come? Yesterday? Yes. And I already had to go through the city and explore and do a little shopping and I love the people here. They're so positive and I've never seen such amazing people in my life. Like, I believe everybody's beautiful, but like, look, everybody's like a model. Like, look Thank at you. this. <laughs> what kind of shopping have you done? I did a little clothes shopping, you know, a little jackets. No? <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you. So, uh, I'm sure we'll have questions from our floor, from our journalists and fans. So please welcome, and uh, we always have a question here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Lindita Alistair from Eurofile. I understand you're originally from Kosovo. Yes. Do you get back there much? And what do you miss about Kosovo when you're in the States? I unfortunately haven't been there since 2013, and I really wanted to go last week, and I couldn't make it. It was a family emergency. But I do miss uh, my family, my wider family, and I also miss the food. Can you please tell us more about your song and about your performance on stage? Right, so my song is all about the human equality. It's about loving each other and accepting each other for who you are and not trying to change one another. One another. We all come from different backgrounds, different religions, different ethnicities, different races. So it's all about, when I say we're so alike yet different, I really mean that it doesn't matter where you come from, we're all the same, we all have emotions, we all bleed from the same blood. So basically that's the message I wanted to spread, you know. We have so many strong messages this year at stage. How do you think, what kind of song will reach the Eurovision hearts the most? I actually have a lot of favorites this year, so I don't know who to choose. <laughs> no, I mean like the songs about, about love, about yes. something very important in series. Yes about love, about uh, loving yourself before you spread it to the world. And if you love yourself, the world will love you. Thank you. Thank you. So please, more questions, if you have. I have, always have questions. Let's do uh, it. <laughs> what, uh, so from our fans, they have a lot of questions as well. What do you like to do except of singing? Workout, fitness. I'm, what kind? A lot of weightlifting. I love weights. I love to lift weights. Okay, and now when did you start following your vision? Watching, I, reading yes. about... When I first uh, saw your vision was when Albania sent their first entry, and that's when I really got to know about it. When it was? At 2004. Mm -hmm. And I always had this dream that one day, you know, I'm going to be up there myself, and it finally happened. I believe that every dream is valid, and you can make them come true if you work hard for it. For what are you here today, on your ambition stage especially? It's a big step in my career, it's a big dream that I've had since childhood and I believe that you know it will teach me a lot about professionalism and if, I feel like every platform for artists is really important to promote their music and to showcase their talent so I'm really happy that I'm part of this big you know, talented family here. What your vision will give to you, the main thing, how do you think? Experience, love, and I made friends from all over the countries. Almost all the artists that are here, I made friends with. So uh, we promised each other that we're going to visit. They're going to come to the United States. I'm going to go to their country. You know. So do you know somebody from this year's contestant? Oh yeah, I know everybody. Really? <laughs> yes. So are you already friends? I'm actually very much of a people's person. So I, so many times I walk myself. I walk to them and I introduce myself and I tell them, you know, that I love their song. So one of my best friends that I made here was Montenegro, really. <laughs> He's amazing. Good. Thank you. Thank you. More questions from our journalist. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Second one. Hi, Alastair again. I understand you're married to, um, or your husband is involved in the American music industry. Now, their sound is quite different to Europe, so how uh, did, he, did your husband influence your Eurovision entry? Was there any conflict about how to make a, a successful Eurovision song? He actually, to be honest, he hasn't uh, 
he hasn't done music in America. He just did it for fun in, in Kosovo. You know, he had some friends that were big famous DJs there, and it was all fun. But yes, when I went to America, the American music has influenced me a lot. Like, you know, like I was more open to different genres. Like, I never listened to hip hop before I went to America. Now I'm all about hip hop, you know? So you get to learn a lot. Thank you. And uh, can you tell us, please, who inspires you the most in your life? That's the most interesting question from our fans. My mother. Wow. She's a very strong woman. She's been through a lot. So when I think about struggles and battles, I also include her experiences in life, you know. She hasn't had it easy, but she's a strong woman, so she, she teaches me how to always be strong and, and, you know, push myself. Even if I have battles, like, I can always make it. Like, there's always the sun up there, so it doesn't matter how much rain it is. Thank you. Do you have uh, your favorite artist or your favorite band? Oh yeah. It's far as you in music. Yes, I have. I have a lot of favorites. Like I grew up listening to Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, uh, Beyonce. I got to also sing with one of my all-time male favorites, which is Stevie Wonder. So I love their voices, and they have taught me a lot of. Like I used to watch a lot of their performance to learn the techniques and make sure that it's still my identity. But they were more like my teachers, you know, virtually. Good. And uh, when did you start thinking about being a singer? I have tapes when I was singing since I was two. Good. <laughs> but I never, you know, I didn't have chances to showcase my music or my talent until I was 11. That's when I was first time on a stage, which was a school program. But that's what helped me overcome the stage fright and be more open to the audience. And uh, how did you appear basically on Eurovision stage? Did you have a national selection in your country? Yes, we have a three night national selection. There's uh, this year, this past year have been uh, 24 acts, and you know, with the jury and audience voting, I got to be chosen. So I, I'm really happy that finally my big dream is true. Is coming did, did you try before to get to Eurovision? Yes, I have tried two times before, uh, in 2010 and 2014. 2016 and finally happened. <laughs> wow, congratulations. Thank you so much. Applause, I think that's... I don't give up. <laughs> yeah, hi. Thank you. Do we have questions from you guys? If you're interested in something, you are welcome to ask. Uh, what is your favorite Eurovision Song Contest winner throughout the years? Okay, uh, do you want me to be honest? I will get so honest. Uh, I love Shamala from last year. I love her song. She is like her vocal showcase and her artistry, her funk and her soul. It's just so amazing. I'm a big fan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, what do you think and what was your impressions about the stage? stage in your mind? I'm actually not surprised. It came out better than I expected it to be, you know. And they, this year they have done amazing work. I'm really happy to finally stand on it. And how do you like your performance on stage, the first rehearsal basically? It felt really good in my ears. I don't know how it sounded in the you know, stadium, but it felt really good in my ears. So I was really comfortable. And then uh, after your rehearsal, you saw like how your performance would look yes. like on TV. Yes. So how did you like that part? I feel like it had a lot of dynamics and you know, I'm not really like, I can't be the judge of the staging because there's more professionals that will work with that. But as far as my performance, I'm really happy with what I've got to be doing, you know. Thank you. Thank how, you. how can you describe like your first day on Eurovision? Oh my God. <laughs> It's exciting, you know, it's exciting, like it's really exciting. Every, the, the whole staff is being so caring and so supportive and they're always giving us positive energy and supportive, you know, so. That's good, it. thank you. More questions, please? Hi, it's Fred hey. from ESC United, we met in Amsterdam. Hi! <laughs> so, definitely coming to Eurovision, many people, you'll be talking to many people. Yes. What is the best advice that you are considering? audience experience. Thank you. Basically what my song says, just um, love and respect one another and accept one another for who we are. Don't be judgmental, don't be discriminated, you know, don't be discriminated other people because it's okay to be different, like we're not all meant to be the same, you know, but we all still the same because we bleed the same blood, you know. Thank you. Thank you. We have more questions. Um, what are your main expectations from Eurovision this year? How do you think why it will be special? Okay, so of course I have big dreams. 
I'm, I'm a big dreamer. I'm, I've always been like that. Like I sometimes dream beyond my beyond my opportunities, but that's the most important. Right. <laughs> How do you think you like this? This year, I can honestly say there's so many great acts, so I'm really hoping that I can qualify to the final. But at first, I'm trying to focus on doing a good performance and then think about the rest, you know. So I'm just hoping that I can at least uh, do good on stage and maybe that can help. Uh, during the national selection or before you left in Ukraine, did you feel like support in your country, people? Yes. And how did you feel that? They're always writing to me on social media. Every time I was going in Tehran in the city, I got to meet different fans and they were being so amazing telling me that you're going to do great, you know, you should just, we're rooting for you, you should just be happy, you're going to be there. And I really am happy I'm here. It's perfect. Thank you. Your ambition is like two weeks of hard work every day, but still, uh, contestants, they usually have some time to relax, to go sightseeing. Do you have plans already? I cannot wait to go see the entire city. I already was at the mall here. <laughs> so you heard about it? <laughs> no, really? <laughs> no paparazzi. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I can't wait to go see different, you know, like museums and art galleries and stuff. Yes, we Hello. have more questions, please. Hello, Benita. Hello. JP from Radio International. Uh, I'm really amazed with you. You sang with Stevie Wonder. Yes. Also with Melody Simpson. I think it's Ashford yes. and Simpson. Yes. How did you get those gigs to sing with those fantastic singers? And you sing in 10 languages. Yes. So which are these languages? I sing in 10 languages, but I don't speak them all, okay? <laughs> which are these languages? Okay, so it's uh, Albanian, which is my national language, uh, Serbo Croatian, uh, German, Spanish. Portuguese, yeah, ich kann auch Deutsch. <laughs> uh, Portuguese, French, Italian, uh, Turkish. What else? Oh my God, what else? I got lost right now. Wait, I need this. I think I have it written somewhere on Twitter, so you can just check it out. <laughs> oh, the fact that I sang with Stevie. Yeah, I happened to uh, sing in Hollywood. The Funk Brothers, that were Motown Records' official band, uh, they were getting their star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So I was the entertainer of the night. And then I see Stevie Wonder walking in as one of the guests. But I didn't see him until I started singing his song. So he came in a little later and when he heard me sing, he got up, right? So I thought he was leaving. I was like, oh my God, I must be doing a bad job. <laughs> so I was really scared, but then I, I was crying because I was so shocked that I can see Stevie himself and I happened to sing his song. So he comes on stage, he joins me, and he tells me, young lady, if you're going to cry all day, we're not doing this. So, uh, do you want to sing together or not? <laughs> I said, yes, sir, I'm doing everything. Just, just let's do this, you know? So we got to sing together for like one hour, and it was the most amazing experience of my entire life. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yes, I was actually, uh, it was an open mic night in New York. It was my first time in New York. So uh, it was, it happened to be Miss Valerie Simpson's uh, bar, club, so she organized open mics. I didn't know who she was until I got to, I, I mean, I didn't know that she was the owner, right? So when I got to be on stage, she offered me a night and she said, you know, I, we need to book you for one of your night, no more open mics. So she got to be singing, I mean, playing piano with me. So that was one of the greatest experiences as well. Well, that's amazing. But also you do opera? Yes. I wonder if you can give us a bit of an example of how sure. you operate it. Oh my god, are you sure? Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Time to Uh, if we don't have any questions, please, the last one there. Hey! Hi, um, I understand you like drawing, is that correct? And what, what, what things do you draw? I'm really not a good painter or drawer, but I love to draw portraits. I, that's the only thing I'm good at, so basically if I have like a picture I can draw. and It's not going to be the same exact, but it's, I get close to it. <laughs> so I love to draw. So everything about art really inspires me. Thank you very much for your answers today. Lindita from Albania. Please applause. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. And we have to take pictures.